Okay, I can almost guarantee you've never seen this before. Well, I got a call from a good friend of mine and he just purchased a 1963 Barth travel trailer and he's gonna restore it. And I'm taking you to see what this thing looks like now in its original condition before the restoration. Looking at the 1963 Barth camper, travel trailer. It is so cool, so retro. That is actually the furnace. Totally different than how they do them nowadays. Somebody shoehorned an air conditioner in the back window, which is going to come out. This is where the old antenna used to be. It used to be mounted here, down here, and this is the crank that adjusts the angle of where you're aiming it. This is the vent from the stove here. And there's just the vents from the refrigerator. And there is the water heater. Wait until you see the inside of this water heater. Totally different than RV water heaters. Got mangled up pretty good. Got a few dents and dings. And it's on the opposite side of the camper, but this is the service where you plug, just plug an extension cord into it. It's just a 20 amp service. You want louder? Yeah, I'm good. You know it's official when he's got a Barth shirt on. All right, check out this water heater. That's an RV water heater from 1963. Looks a little different than uh, the way they look today. The gas line's not hooked up to it. I can see it right there. But man, it's gotta be 15, 20 gallons. So what, what are the walls made out of in this and the ceiling? The, the walls, the structure is all aluminum. It's all uh, aluminum like I-beam material. Uh, the only wood in these are the cabinets, the floor, and the interior walls. Everything else, like an Airstream, is aluminum. And then that's a touch light somebody added. That's not a good one. No, but that antenna that is, thing yeah. is, that is so cool. Even the hatch in the roof. Oh, it's, it's all it's metal. Galvanized metal, yeah. And it, and it has, a, it looks like a ra end of a ratchet that you crank and you can crank it up from either side so you can have it angled to either side. Do you have the uh, the fan blade that came out of there? The motor and everything? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's nice to get something that somebody hasn't thrown everything away. Man, somebody gutted that shelf out too with the drill bit. Look at all the plumbing is brass and copper. Crazy. So Richard, why don't you tell everybody about what makes you qualified to do a renovation like this? Well, this would be, for me, Barth number five, three of which I've saved from the scrapyard, this one being one of them. Wow. And I've owned them since the early 90s. And you work in the industry. And so I work in the industry and I came from, more experience. I came from the Winnebago. Uh, my first motor home was a Winnebago. And, uh, Discovered one of these and have a look back. I see I got an idea for this already too Man, I just can't believe somebody cut that out with a oh, I can a drill bit <laughs> Probably did you know what it's gonna get now? What is gonna get a stereo? Oh, yeah from right there That's where they put them in some of the camper trailers right and it's the square ones with the DVD and everything yeah, about that size That'd be cool. That'd fill that cool. That's a fear nasty stereo. Hole. Check out this thermostat That is just crazy yeah, that furnace looks really in pretty decent shape. It's got a little bit of rust on it, but the fan motor looks good. Yeah. And that was air filter. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. So that's the bed. Instead of having a slide out, it had to slide in. Of course, none of the cushions are there anymore, so we have to get cushions. But yeah. And what makes this unique? This one was one of the first ones that they built back when Robert Barr started the company and they were building 
trailers and slide-in campers. Then they evolved into motorhomes and then they actually did a Class C, which is the van type and um, just very, very quality vehicle, very quality vehicle. And the bed or the uh, dinette table just sits down here on the runners. So that turns into a whole bed also. That is an air compressor with airline that comes up to the fill. Once you put your water in, the air compressor would actually pump air into the top of the tank and pressurize the water and that's what would actually pump it. So there's no water pump on this thing. It's just it had a, this air compressor. It's crazy. And there's the switch for it to turn it on and off for your water. It looks like it's got a cycle switch on there. Yeah, I guess, it yeah, yeah, it would shut off at a certain pressure. Yep, it sh shuts off at a certain pressure and it keeps it pressurized that's all the time. That's why this has to be sealed right so that it maintains pressure in the tank that is awesome and it may have had a gauge right here i don't know it, it's really hard to say but i bet it had a gauge right there it probably did so you so that you could look at it and say okay i'll have water pressure and then you know if in an emergency you could charge the system here with a hand pump with a hand pump just to get you home yeah excellent and you're going to gut the whole inside of this it looks like this, it needs to this, all be gutted. this will be totally gutted and totally redone well, I can tell you right now what's going to make it a lot better. It's the sticker right there. Richard's a real unique individual. Um, he actually works at an RV dealer. So he has an inside look at a lot of the stuff. A lot of experience that would be doing this. So this is not just a paint job over some cabinets type of restoration. This is going to be a full-on total gut down to the frame, down to the outer walls renovation and it's uh it's gonna be pretty cool i'm gonna do a little mini series and keep uh tabs on him every week or so on his progress and i'll, I'll post that on with uh you know on my channel for you guys to see mm -hmm.